The Shattering is won, but our hero's adventure has just gotten started. This week on D and D minus. just won what the locals are calling the weirdest shattering <laughs> ever. Um, the guard who was, shall we say, undressed during the competition <laughs> has about that. received some post-shattering counseling. <laughs> His wife and family have reached out. They just want a conversation. You guys have said no. It's a whole thing. Uh, but the, the day has come, and you are going to be given your prize money and, of course, your other prize, which is a meeting with the god Valkyr. Yeah. Ooh. So you are ushered inside, and usually a lot of people come to this ceremony and cheer you on. Nobody, nobody really showed up. I mean, the people who need to be there are there, but the town, the spirit's kind of down. So it's just you guys and... Uh, two of the guards that you met a couple of days ago, not the one you took the shirt off of, but they're very stiff and awkward around, especially Claw. So you are ushered <laughs> inside Valkyr's tremendous stone doors into a resplendent temple filled with statues of Valkyr sailing, leading his men into battle and what looks like he's wrestling a sea beast. In the center of the room is a two-story tall throne made of white stone. And just as you're taking in the full magnitude of its size, there is a deafening boom, a flash of lightning, and standing before you is a translucent pirate made of lightning itself. Oh, welcome ye champions of the shattering. You have made Valkyrie. Oh, oh my God. Bridget, is that you? Oh, great, illustrious of uh, thunderous and lightningous and mightiest god oh, Valkyrie. Oh, Bridget, you have no idea how happy I am to see ye. And he starts bawling, giant blue crackling tears the size of swimming pools smash to the ground nearby and his wailing is truly the loudest thing you have ever heard and I... he says oh. it's umberly i think we might be well and truly done this time bridget i think we might be well and truly done i roll my eyes and pat him on the toe and say uh, let it all out i guess let it all out. He does. He lets it all... I mean, the windows and the walls just shake with the sounds of his wailing as the rest of you stand there awkwardly watching a literal god cry. Does Bridget get shocked by touching the lightning toe? She does not, no. Okay. Do I? <laughs> I'd like to roll for shock from the lightning toe. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a, she's a proponent of Valkyr, so she doesn't get shocked. Yeah. You can touch his toe if you'd like. I would like yeah. to touch his toe. Try to touch can his I toe. Grab, can I see, grab see Dave's hand while he touches the toe? Touch toe? Excellent. Great. You want to both So that if he gets shocked, toe? I get shocked. All right. Let's both I'm hold the same fork. I'm going to stand over here <laughs> being smarter <laughs> than y'all. both going down together, I guess. <laughs> I, roll, I rolled a two. Wonderful. I didn't even ask you to roll, but that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get a two at? Grabbing Doesn't your hand. Doesn't matter. He got a two. Dice rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Claw goes to hold your hand, realizes he has a bird wing, and looks sadly down. <laughs> he has a negative 12 to hand holding because he's an Aarakocra. Oh uh, so, so the grabbing of the toe actually does sort of shake him out of it for a second. He goes, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you won the shattering, didn't you? Um, congratulations. Let me see if I can do this right. Um. <clears throat> Oh, ye champion. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Okay. I, I can't do it. I can't oh, do it. I. Oh, if I knew that she was well 
and I knew that she loved me, then nothing would make me happier than to give you your gold and your boon or your blessings. But I just miss her so much, you know? You guys get it, right? And he looks over at you and Claw and Dave. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to like... Not at my ass. I understand. <laughs> I'm looking racist. at you guys like, come on, come on, put it on, put on the show. Come on. Yeah, this seems like a completely reasonable thing for a yeah, guy to be telling yeah. us. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Thank you. Reasonable. Thank you. It means the world that you say that. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. No, um, if you just stand back a little bit, stand back. Oh, okay. And he yeah. sort of ushers y'all back and he claps his massive hands together and a fat bag of gold coins appears at your feet. There's your prize, but mm, there's, there's your prize, buddy. You've earned it. You've earned it well, you have. And of course, I'll, I'll grant you your boon. Sorry. Assuming it really quick. Do you cry in a different accent than you talk? I Excuse I, me. You're talking to a god right now. I, Dave. Oh, he's right. I do sound different when I cry. You, see, you guys hear that, right? Thanks, Dave. Oh. That was very helpful. It's all right, man. A lot of us sound different when we cry. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, that's, hey. that's well good of you to say. It's just... <clears throat> or I'm, I'm here to give you your boons. After all, you've earned them, haven't you? Yes. Yes, we have. Uh, some more than others. So? What can I do for you? Oh, shit. Y'all remember what we were supposed to be doing here? I, uh, I, nope. <laughs> I do. There was... The wand. The circlet. No, the wand. I, no, it's the part of the wand. I, I believe you have a circlet that we've been looking for. Oh, do you mean the circlet of lightning? Yeah, that's the word she said. I the circlet that yeah I ah well of course I've got it one of my greatest treasures it is I remember when the Duke of the Storm first presented it to me like it was yesterday can we have it ah I'm sorry I can't give it away I swore I swore on the sea itself oh the sea Umberly Oh dear. oh dear! I didn't really understand what he said. Uh, uh, it's they've got a lot of history. Him, him, and Umberly, the, right, the lady see, of the sea. I think mm. the important thing for you to remember is that there's always more sea in the fish. Shit, this doesn't work with you, does it? Damn it! Damn it! I, <laughs> uh, I, okay, okay. Uh, uh, well then, what, what were you? Is there? Is there any way we could persuade you to uh, let go of said circlet? Oh, I wish I could. But I made the promise itself to Umberly and Umberly won't. Umberly won't speak to me. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Claude, do well, you want to steal it? Do I want to steal it? Yes. Uh. You know you're talking in character voices, which means you're talking out loud I, I right in front of a god. It wasn't uh, a suggestion. <laughs> he was just asking if he wanted to. We're helping him <laughs> get over those urges. Your your uh, holiness. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the rest of the crew into a huddle for a second. You, Is that cool? You guys are doing a huddle. Yeah, I, yeah, I, no, yeah fine. I can you, hear it because okay. I'm a god. But okay, if you want to. If you want to stand in a circle anyways, that no, Never it's mind. fine. It's I just, mean, no, I can it's hear okay. You. I, I just, I know that in the past you've sent me down to talk to Umberly about your troubles and maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe if we were to do that again, uh, you might see. You do that, Bridget. Oh, you're a beautiful soul. You're all beautiful souls. I feel like there was a maybe that you question. missed in there. Yeah, uh, maybe if we were to do that, you wouldn't mind giving up that circlet. Well, if you spoke to Umberly and she said it was okay, what care I for this little trinket given to me by the Duke of Lightning? Well, that's just, that's just grand. 
isn't it? But Bridget, as sweet as it is for you to offer, Umberly's down at the bottom of the sea and hasn't been seen above the water for almost a year now. You've no way to reach her. Right, because I haven't reached her ever before when I was on a boat and she was in the sea before. Uh, I uh, uh, question to God, like D&D God. Um, how did I usually get in contact with her before? She would rise out of the water and speak to you. Okay, I, I wouldn't talk to her through my secret secret Umberly tattoo or anything like that? Mm-mm. Okay, That was cool. so unhelpful. Well, well... <laughs> I'm just like all the other gods then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to need a shitload of fishing line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do mermaids eat? Uh, Are there mermaids? Mermaid gods. Sorry, do you think they're cannibals? Mermaids? What else is there besides fish? They are fish, aren't they? No, they're mermaids. Well, I'm sorry. I need to dig down on this. <laughs> Morgan very much just agreed to disagreed whether or not mermaids <laughs> eat other mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, all we've seen is Disney. <laughs> Based on Disney, you think they do? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying Disney's been lying. They didn't eat oh, anything. Right, right. They have a trooper. habit of whitewashing the. Yeah, I okay. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. only the only Disney mermaid to eat anything was Ursula, and she ate another like sea creature. Didn't didn't uh, Disney do Splash? I believe Splash was a Disney movie as well with Goldie oh. Hawn, no, uh, Daryl Hannah. Daryl, oh, that's right, Daryl right. Hannah. Yeah, the live action. I believe one. hers I, is the uh, only naked ass to ever show up in a Disney movie. If I'm not mistaken. Oh shit! Ooh. Other than that's the little no. Indian kid. Oh, <laughs> lots of little children at this point. I mean, have you yeah. seen Brave? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's well, right. actually, yeah, that's old ones too. Everybody has a button, Brave. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> so we need some half fish, half child with asses out to lure. There's got to be another way to get down to the sea. I mean, there's got to be a spell that will let us breathe down there or something. Ask your God. Or, oh, wait, wait, wait. I know that there are other temples to other gods, there might be a temple to Umberly somewhere and we could talk to them and they could talk to her and we could pass your little notes that way or something. Did you already try that, God? Oi, I've tried everything, I'll tell you. Umberly, it's those priestess of hers always filling her head with nonsense and praise, telling her oh, I'm not good enough for her. He wasn't born a god, Umberly. You could do so much better, Umberly. I've tried everything. Flowers, candy, even sunk a great ship as a gift to her. But there's nothing I can do. Our love is dead. Dead and lost at the bottom of the sea like all the gifts I've tried to give her. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You, you should go on, like, God ship. Tinder or something. You just get past it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, it sounds, like, it sounds like the priests can talk to her. Indeed, they can. They live right above her, yeah, so under the good. sea. Yeah, well, so what? Good idea, Bridget. I'm sorry, wait. She has underwater priests? Indeed, she does. Ha- how, though? Oh, they're mermaids and sagans. Okay, well, that's wonderful. That's just fucking great. All right. Can you give us, like, swimming powers so we can just, like, go down there and talk to these people? Gods, as priests. you can, As you can tell, we're very persuasive. <laughs> well, you said you, that you've gotten in contact with them. How did you get down there? Oh, well, I could go under the sea any time I like, but after the first couple of times she turned me away, I... I haven't had the strength to do it again. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's a good therapist in town. You think so? Uh, in on, in the meantime, on an island. Uh, how do we, guys? How how do you think we get into the ocean? Well, do you want to leave this place first, or no? Can I roll at like, I don't know, insight or something on how? Roll- can I roll the figuring what the fuck we should do out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roll a roll a history check. God damn it. Not insight. Are you sure it's not an insight check? <laughs> I uh, I got a plus five on history. I'll roll a history check. Oh, you do? Check. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Roll a history check. Um, and I am at the same time gonna do maybe insight on him to see if there's anything he's hiding, like maybe he feels guilty about. 
to see gotcha. if I have a, a, a problem. Is. I got an 11 plus five on my uh, history. Show. Okay, so Snedrick, with an 11 plus five, you remember from ancient historical documents that Claw has four potions of greater underwater breathing in his bag. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I studied that from my history, did I? Yep. It was in an ancient school. Why didn't I just have this knowledge? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't oh, know, Morgan. Why didn't you have this knowledge? He told us. <laughs> where, he 100% told us. Sheet? <laughs> well, it would be in your equipment, right next to the all or nothing coin, the potions of greater water breathing. Hey, they're even highlighted. Mm-hmm. You did a whole <laughs> thing there. Remember it popped out of the wardrobe and you're... Got a note from Grandma, Claude. Uh, Eli, that was way before Christmas. (laughs) That was in November. (laughs) (laughs) So, yes, you do have four potions of greater water breathing. Great. Excellent. In the meantime, also, uh, I'm just rolling insight on Valkyr to see if he, he might not be letting us know something that maybe pissed Umberly off. And I got a 19 plus five. Wow. Uh, With that, you can tell this is definitely his side of the story. Okay. Um, And because that's such a good role, I will tell you, he has a history in this relationship of overreacting to when Umberly needs space or when um Umberly, like, makes a joke or says something offhand. So the chances are that Umberly isn't so much probably, like, sticking her nose up at him as he is overreacting because he's a little bit of a drama king. Okay. Excellent. I think we could have said that without the role. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you noticed with your amazing perception that it was a bit histrionic. (laughs) (laughs) I got some cool stuff in equipment. (laughs) (laughs) I have I have something called the bun bun of soothing, which is pretty. You do, yeah. Gun. Everyone is that the rabbit? Yeah, it's your little stuffed rabbit. Oh, that's right, the rabbit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Oh, I have a. Oh, never mind. Okay, Think cool. how yeah. long it's been since you've summoned bread, Heath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do that now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, you guys, you guys so want any excited. bread? Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, I want some bread. Just one the would shattering. It, would a, a piece of bread help you out, Valkyr? No, no. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I'm doing that keto thing. I don't know if you guys have heard about uh, this. I, it's really great. You know, our ancestors, they never ate carbohydrates, especially uh, not complex No, this is good. It's, it's high in fiber. It's low net carbs. <laughs> it's good bread. Uh, I'd like to cut this off early. So I, I, this would probably help you want to pet my little bunny. Oh, oh he's very, pet your bunny. He's very soothing. Here's oh. I understand. Oh. Oh, I do feel better. Good. Well, thank you. Good. Thank you. Uh, Snedrick, yeah? Snedrick Ferndangle? That's me. Oh, thank, thank you for letting me use your bunny. So, will you help me out? Will you speak to Umberly? I know if you could get past her gaggle of girls, you'll be fine. I mean, you know, seeing as how we don't have any real choice in the matter, absolutely, man, absolutely. I'd be happy to do that for you. Oh! my stars and garters that just might do it. Her lair is just off the coast. There's a small island she and her servants live under. It's called the Longest Island off the coast of Sea Crash. You can't miss it. All right, well, it's been it's been um, a very interesting conversation there, man. It has. Yes, thank you all, thank you all. Um, Bridget? Yes? Before you go, I... You know, I watch The Shattering because I technically watch everything because I'm a god. Fair. Um, I couldn't help but notice that when Dang hits you with his sword, you used lightning powers that um, I don't remember giving ye. I know. I I don't know how I got them myself. Hmm. Eh, perhaps your love for Valkyr is just so strong you've got powers even I don't know about. I maybe that's it. Ah, uh, that's it. Now, remember... Oh, I bet that's it. I- yes, probably. Because you I, love I, me so I much. I do love you so much. You're I'm just your the fucking greatest. Anyway... You're my favorite. I... Oh, that's... That's Needy. very sweet. You're my Hey, can you roll a d20 a... real quick? Twelve. A bolt of lightning comes from the sky and strikes right next to you. Not you. <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? No. Nope. Something about needy? No. 
No, I was just nope, 12. Were... Nothing. Yes, you're needy. Strike uh, me. What? All right. <laughs> Roll a d20, Morgan. <laughs> oh, five. <laughs> okay. You get hit by lightning and take <laughs> six points of lightning damage. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh. Uh, these idiots aside, I, I just wanted to, to say uh, thank you for considering giving this giving the circlet to us. And just remember that deep breaths are good and and space is also good. Deep Give yourself space. space. Give yourself and, and everyone around you space. Oi, that's a Oi. great idea. My deep breaths in space. All right. Good luck. Let me know what Umberly says. Hopefully she doesn't kill you in a murderous rage. Bye. Uh, what? Okay. Bye. I, I was just hoping the same thing, actually. Whew. So what do you do? We uh, Maybe we get out of the temple so I can talk to you guys out of the temple. Sounds like a plan here. We ne- we're going to need to charter a boat or something, I imagine. Yeah, uh, Bridget, this is your hometown. You can borrow a boat from pretty much anyone who doesn't hate you. I mean, like, don't borrow it from the guy who claw undressed and don't borrow it from Dang, but other than that, everyone will lend you a boat on this island. Well, wait, wait, wait. What, what was the guy that I stole this the robe from? Uh, just a random contestant at the Shattering. Was he, like, the same general shape as Bridget? He's, oh, my God. He's dwarven. I'm saying you put the robe on and let's steal his boat specifically. Just out of spite? Because you... Yeah. And she would look Why, like him with the robe you know so what? we can just steal it? I don't... I don't want... I don't want to do that to... How a, would we even say, know I'm, which boat was his? You're being dwarfist is what I'm saying. Let's uh, <laughs> just go borrow my parents' boat. Also, I'd like Claude to just like put away all those clothes he stole. He's like holding on to them and making a big deal about it all the time. <laughs> I only stole one. Well, just throw it out. It's weird. No, I'm wearing... You're I'm being wearing. weird. No, I'm wearing it. I feel like your I wings feel like are going to fit gonna... through the armholes. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look good, but I'm wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> As a scarf. You look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I it have it like, like tied. Little... The sleeves tied around my waist. Oh, okay. those tiny little <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you in a fucking pirate grunge band? Just throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> So as the four of you have this argument, you go down and borrow the boulder stash boat and you sail uh, not far off the coast of Sea Crash to the longest island. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for listening to the show. If you're enjoying the podcast, why not hop on iTunes and give us one of those sweet, sweet five-star reviews I've heard so much about. Uh, If you're loving the podcast and you want a little bit of extra stuff, head on over to patreon.com forward slash DND minus, all spelled out. Uh, And for just two bucks an episode, you get access to a special behind-the-scenes Dungeon Masters Q&A, as well as our first ever bonus episode that we've called The Worst and the Dimmest. Uh... It is an awful lot of silly fun. Again, I just want to thank everyone for all your super-duper positive feedback on this show. It's been a tremendous amount of fun to do. And so thank you all so much for listening. All right. I'll let you get back to it. Oogie doogie. All right. Let's Let's get those... uh, Take all that stupid clothes off. Let's all get naked. (laughs) So what's on this island? Is is there a town here or anything like that? There's almost nothing on the island. It's just a long, barren strip of rock uh, that gets wider and wider at at its base. Umberly's lair is underneath the island. All right. Can we see any, like, like stepping stones or glowing lights down there or anything that would remind tell us where the the front of the entrance is. No, water's pretty dark. All right. Well, good news cool. is, guys, I can see in the dark. So, so once we I. get down there. Oh, well, there you go. Once we get down there, we'll be all right. In fact, I think we all have dark vision, right? Uh, Claw and Dave do not have dark vision. Really? T- uh, yep. He's t- a tiefling, isn't he? No, he's dragonborn. Never mind. Dragonborn. I thought dragonborn did. Okay, cool. Nope. Dave's on Snedrick. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> on what? <laughs> I'm holding his hand as he drags me down there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. You can, you may touch the end of my cloak. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. Are you going to, you're going to wear All the right. cloak while we you know swim? What? You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to just go ahead and tie a rope around his waist and a rope around my waist. And we're just, I don't like, around my I don't waist. like this. 
I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> cool. Get in the water. Um, maybe we should drink them potions first. Let's do that first. <laughs> so you drink the potion and they taste and smell like seawater. And for a moment, nothing happens. You think maybe someone just played a prank on you by sticking those potions in the wardrobe and getting you to drink some seawater. It wouldn't be the first time on this adventure. But in a moment, your limbs, uh, the water's very cold, as Snedrick mentioned before, and the water's coldness, it, it doesn't go away. You're aware it's still that cold, but it doesn't bother you as much. And your hands feel sticky underwater. It just feels good to push your hands through the water as you lower yourself into them. And if you look very closely, you can sort of see that there's a, a clear film forming over your skin and actually over your clothes as well uh, that seems to be protecting you from most of the water's heat. As you sort of paddle around and feel the water, normally when you'd swim, there's sort of not much going on, but you can swim really well now for whatever reason. And the water sort of moves effortlessly under your hands and when those of you do actually venture to dunk your heads underwater, you can breathe that water as easily as you breathe air. And you, you're not, by the way, being protected from breathing in the water. You are breathing in water. Your lungs are just magically able to take it in and extract oxygen from it. Yeah, it's like the Harry Potter movie. It is like that. It is like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Except you don't have gills on the side of your... Yeah, and it's not that because copyright. <laughs> and we don't hate trans people. Yeah, and yeah, we don't that, that too, that too. All right, so I feel like we should go down. So I'm going to go down. Down sounds good. Does anybody have a light spell so that we don't have to like be blind, the two of us? Like a, a, an illumination thing? I mean, I have a minor illusion cantrip where I can make Heath think that we cast light on stuff so he'll just dive under the water and we can move to the next thing. Yeah. I perfect. mean, I can just see and he can follow. <laughs> We're tied together with a rope. All right, I'm using my minor illusion to make he think he can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As he waves his hands, the water becomes perfectly clear. You can see absolutely everything. This in is front awesome. Of you. I can see everything. <laughs> you guys don't have to worry about me. Bridget, take this rope off. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe use the rope anyway. I don't like the Actually. rope. Yeah, you no. Want to tie a rope to me? No. Sorry, just, just because right. I don't want to make anyone mad. Minor illusion is limited to no larger than a five-foot cube. So there's a five-foot cube of absolute clarity in front of This Dave is amazing. Frank. This is like the <laughs> Oculus Quest. I fucking love well, this. Well, that's, that's the thing. Right. I only need well, a few inches to do an Oculus thing with since, it. He, for him, he sees the whole thing. <laughs> since right. he's still attached, I'm just going to start swimming down and he'll just have to follow. <laughs> <laughs> still awesome. All right. After swimming for several hours, you reach a massive cave that makes up the bottom of the longest island. However, as Valkyr mentioned, there appears to be a sunken ship blocking the entrance to the cave. Flying Valkyr's flag and with the message, are you mad at me, V, burned into its side. Oh my God. What do you do? That's embarrassing. Oh man. He's like slipping into her DMs basically of gods. How, bi how big is this flag? Uh, it's a ship with those flags on it. Can we steal one of the flags? Why? Why? Why would you want to? Okay. Just just okay. as a souvenir. Fun. Sure. Why do I need to roll? You don't need to roll. You stole a flag. Sweet. You got it. You got <laughs> Valkyr's flag. Good job. Good I job. Kinda, hey, let's I go into this cave. Motion my hand as to, we can continue. I just want to point this out. I feel like this is important. If we swam for several hours downward, we are lower than the bottom point of the Marianas Trench by now, and I feel like we're going to need maybe another spell to keep the enormous amount of pressure from crushing hey, us don't, to death. Hey, don't bring like, things like that to uh, Eli's uh, attention. Yeah, you're all crushed. <laughs> oh, upon that realization, you're all crushed to death and I think die. the ship from the core just went past us. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, the magic of the potion helps you with the water pressure as well. Oh, okay. That's nifty. It's an anti-water pressure magic. It's magic. It's magic, everybody. Okay. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. I was busy Googling how long it would take to swim to the bottom of the Mariana Stretch and how deep we would be after several hours. I missed what, what's going on with the ship and the flags and stuff again. Apparently, the ship is in our way. We can't, like, swim past the ship. 
No, it is blocking the entrance to the cave. Okie dokie. There is, however, a hole in the side. All right. Shall we venture in? Yeah, in we go. After you. <laughs> no, I'm going to go in first. I'll go in first I, with the I flag. I can see. You can't I, you see You can't anything. see. Throw away the flag. That's okay. I'll go in, I'll go in first with the flag. Okay, so, uh, Claude, no, I'm, you I'm go going in first. first. <laughs> okay. He can't see. I can easily shove him out. Yeah, I was going to say, when when only one of them can see, she, she can definitely one-up him on that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Claude and Bridget are trying to cram into the same hole and get into a fight right now. <laughs> No, Claude, I'm sure, is swimming toward where he thinks the hole is and bumping his head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in there. Now, I will say, while the ocean was not necessarily that dark, even the all the way down here at the bottom of the island, the inside of the boat is pitch black. And so, Claude and Dave, you will be blinded while you are inside the ship. And that means that you cannot see, obviously. Uh, you're automatically going to fail any ability checks that require sight. Attack rolls against creatures will have disadvantage, and creatures that attack you will have advantage. So keep that in mind as you are inside this ship. All right, I think there might be monsters and shit. Aren't we already blind before we go into the ship? Uh, no, it's it's dark in the water, but you are inside the ship. It is pitch black, so you and Claw are blind entirely. All right, um, so I, I guess I'm going to wait until Claw and Bridget get through, and then I'm going to lead uh, Dave through. As well. Thank you. All right. So roll a perception check for me. Who are you talking to? Everybody. Okay. Net 20. All right. Bridget, as you make your way through the hull of the darkened ship, you notice that in the bottom corner of the hull is a treasure chest. It seems to have burst open when the ship hit the bottom of the sea, and its contents, mountainous piles of gold and jewels, are just sitting there at the bottom of the hull. All right, I purposefully do not mention it to the two kleptos in the party. <laughs> and I continue well, on that is clearly as... a trap. I'm not that is a any big ass square of cheese right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am not taking that. That is a huge trap. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them along with me. I'm an opportunist. I feel like a... anything that Eli volunteers <laughs> to us without us having to like pry it out of him, we should never go near. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is going to be some adventuring. That's how just we play a the game. Chest. Just an empty <laughs> treasure chest. How amazing would it be if it was just a treasure chest sitting there? <laughs> we'll, ne <laughs> we'll never know. Yes, we do. <laughs> hey, guys, there's this briar patch at the bottom of this ship. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you shouldn't go there. So you're going to swim. You're not going to touch the treasure. You're just nah. going to swim past it to the hole yep. behind it and keep making your way through? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Excellent. And who's who's leading? Just out of curiosity, I like went who's in going first? first? <laughs> you went in first, Bridget. Yes. Will you make a dexterity saving oh, throw for fuck me? Me, goddamn it! <laughs> Should let me go. That is a nat one. Fun. Ooh, oh. Bridget. <sighs> Bridget. 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 Oh, is there dear. any way that I can like dodge no. into her is, or something? Is Bridget Not about to like one. tangle herself in the rope and like kind of get strangled a little bit, <laughs> something like that? So, Bridget, you are correct in being suspicious of this treasure. However, you swim a little too close to it. And yeah, maybe a part of you wanted to take a look at a couple of the jewels <laughs> or diamonds. It's hard to say. I'm not inside your head. But I do know that your fingers ever so gently brush this treasure. And I mean, she literally said she's going to stay the hell away from it. It wasn't a... Yeah, wasn't a but then she rolled a one. Then I rolled so. one, which is... <laughs> Not good for me. It's okay. She, she, she critically failed at staying the hell away from me. <laughs> and so, so she's like swimming through it like Scrooge McDuck now, and it's not going well. I choose to think that you've been weighing me down, actually. So I had to touch it. <laughs> so when your hand brushes the uh, treasure, you don't feel cold metal. You feel something wet and very very sticky and you try to pull your hand away from it but the more you pull the more the treasure seems to pull you in <laughs> it'd be weird if it wasn't wet i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> dry it's bone dry but yeah you are now stuck to this treasure and you have no idea how to free yourself you are grappled. And the other thing is there were a couple of like diamonds sticking out of the lid of the treasure chest that at first you thought were just sort of like caught between the lid. 
But now that you look at them a slightly more closely, because you're stuck to the treasure, mm. they look a lot like teeth. And worse still, the lid of the chest has opened Ooh. up and is starting to slowly move towards you. Everybody, roll initiative. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2019. All rights reserved.